Good morning, good morning, good morning. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. I got another white paper game review here for you. We're going back to the seas. This is the Marine Battle game that's just starting to be promoted across the wax. Um, it's, it's been out there for a little bit, but we're really starting to see the marketing. So I wanted to get a, a review out here. Um, uh, they're still in the, the white listing phase of a game. So earlier the better. Um, so you all know the information. So if you can just make your own decision whether you want to go after the whitelist and the games and, and the NFTs and, and see if this one's right for you. Before we really jump into this game, I want to go ahead and give a uh, normal disclaimer. Uh, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Please make sure you do your own research before you make any decisions about your current situation and if it's the right game for you to jump into. All right. Having said that, again, this is a battleship seafaring style game reminds me of a few of the other games that have been out there earlier this year uh, where you're trying to get captains you're trying to get uh, ships and, and you're going and exploring and i'm assuming eventually there's going to be some pvp action going on so if you like that style of game this might be a game that you're really interested in um, let's go ahead and dive through the website, then we'll go into the white paper itself. And at the end, I'll go ahead and give you my personal opinion on, on whether I think I may jump into it or, or just my overall thoughts. Jumping through the website, um, it basically it says it's you are essentially going to be trying to get three different types of NFTs. You're going to try and get a captain, you're going to try and get a battleship, and you are going to try and get land if possible, which is going to be very limited. You are trying with the, the captain, the battleship, and, and the land, you're trying to go ahead and obtain three different tokens, which we'll dive into here in the white papers. Um, they're gonna have staking, um, just owning the land itself is gonna give you some rewards uh, beyond of what I've seen in, I, I should say, some special items uh, for advanced crafting uh, beyond what I've seen in other games. Um, scrolling down, um, it really focuses, like I said, the, the three different NFTs that you can get. The captains, there's going to be five rarities of captains, there's going to be five rarities of battleships, and then there's going to be the, the, the land, which is going to be two things. Uh, you get rewards from it, and then you battle upon the sea with other players, basically like any land function that's in a, an, an NFT game, where I'm, sh I'm sure you get some sort of commissions from it. In order to get started, as I mentioned, they are early in the whitelist phase. Um, there's technically two different whitelists. In order to get those whitelist items, um, there's the basic whitelist item, which gives you access to the, the two different packs, which go over here in a little more detail shortly. And then there's the advanced whitelist, which gives you access to the, the, the Harbor of Legends packs, which is uh, this, the land. Um, in order to get these, you need to collect the recruiters. These are promo NFTs. You get them through events in the Discord, through other activities, and you can buy them on the secondary market. In order to be able to get the basic whitelist, you have to go ahead and blend three of these promos. It turns into the basic whitelist, which allows you to go ahead and buy the packs. Uh, and the packs include a captain and a, a ship, which we'll go through in, again in detail soon. Um, in order to get the land whitelist, the advanced whitelist that we just talked about, you need to go ahead and have six of those promo NFTs. And the way I'm reading this, and I could be wrong, correct me down in the comments below if I'm um, in order to get both whitelists, the the basic whitelist and the advanced whitelist, so you can get all three packs, you need a total of nine NFTs, nine promo NFTs, three for the basic and six for uh, the, the land or the advanced whitelist. Please correct me if I'm wrong, but that's the way I'm reading this. Um, as far as the roadmap goes, they do have a number of things that they're already out there. Uh, they're in the process of uh, issuing the promo cards, so get involved in the Discord if this is the right, right uh, game for you to jump into. They did release the white papers. Uh, I must say the white paper is relatively limited, um, So, but we'll dive into that here in a second. They're still early. Basically, they, they really launched the process here in Q2 of 2022 so they're still early in the process that's why i wanted to get this out here it shows the team doesn't really give you a ton of details about the team uh, other than the names and what they're responsible for um, it'd be great if they had the linkedin profiles uh, of them but that's not very common uh, recently on wax uh, so let's go ahead and jump into the white paper itself this is the white paper 
again, it doesn't go into a ton of detail, so be aware of that as we're going through this. Um, basic background is you're a captain of a ship and you're trying to dominate the seas. Uh, as far as the packs go, as I mentioned, there are two main NFTs that you need in order to play. You need a captain and you need a battleship. So you can go ahead and get one of these initial packs, the captain fleet packs, and you're able to play the game. It's not optimized, it's not ideal, but you're able to, it's a minimal viable product in order to play the game. So that you get, you can get this by whitelisting for the basic whitelist or get it on the secondary market once it's available. The other pack for captains and battleships is the Admiral Fleet Pack. You get two captains, you get two battleships, you get a higher chance of rarities uh, with both those captains and battleships. Again, you only get two of those though. Um, it's not clear as far as the game goes if you're able to send out more than one ship at a time. I know there's some games in the past that I will not mention where they sold a ton of ships and a ton of captains and you could only send one out at a time which was very disheartening and they only told you that after the pack drop i don't know if that's the case here full disclosure i do not know um so check out the discord ask the questions uh if this is a game that you're looking for the third pack that they're going to be selling is the harbor of legends this is that advanced whitelist that we talked about before this is basically you get one sea land and sea land is going to be important here and i'll tell you why uh, a few seconds if you're able to get those again it's like any land ownership in a game it's it it's it's what you want in a game if you can get it um already walked through the the, the whitelist drops they are going to be limited um basically there's only going to be a thousand basic whitelists and there's only going to be mentions here that there's gonna be a thousand advanced whitelists uh, but it really depends on the promo cards and if you're able to connect those i'm assuming as far as the the, the advanced whitelist it's going to be a lot less uh, that's actually blended for that. Captains is, uh, they're, they're going to have certain stats um, I, and there are certain rarities. Uh, the rarities go from common up to legendary. The stats, there's going to be three main ones. There's going to be strength, there's going to be luck, and there's going to be endurance. Strength basically determines how much how many tokens you're going to get every time you battle. Luck is going to be determining the, the chance of NFT drops. And endurance just really depends on, uh, basically every time you battle, it decreases the endurance. So... So the higher the endurance, the more chances you'll have to battle in a certain amount of time. And then you can stake uh, your captains for, for what they, it's their MNT token. Um, it's basically the nutrition, and we'll get to that here in a second. Battleships, very similar. Same rarities, common through legendaries, same stats, strength, luck, and endurance, all having the same thing. And you can stake those also for nutrition. Not sure I really like that there's not really, any of the unique uniqueness with the the stats between the two that makes it really basically you know what i'm trying to get at sea lands different story basically you this is where all the battles are going to take, take place if you own the sea lands you actually get a different token which is the mlt it's given to those that stake their land uh and it'll basically allows them to um get advanced upgrades on your equipment in addition to that, they also have different stats. You have the sea swell, which basically defines the pool that's uh, the reward pool that's going to be in there for the MBT, which is their third token. Water depth, which is really going to tell you how much uh, endurance the captains and the battleships are going to lose. And then the treasures, obviously. The sea treasure is what kind of uh, NFTs are going to be rewarded throughout the process. Tokens, I already briefly mentioned this. There's the marine nutrition token the marine battle token and the marine land token the nutrition token we're going to call for short is going to be basically it re it's you you get it from staking uh your your nfts or captains or battleships and, and your lands um it's used to restore endurance allow you to do more battles in a shorter period of time the battle tokens is obtained when you actually do the battles and it is used for crafting. Um, and then last but not least, uh, the land token is when you stake your land and it's used for advanced captain crafting, advanced battleship crafting, and so on. Um, those are the three tokens, which is starting to become a trend here on Wax. Uh, blending, we're not gonna go into this in detail because there's really not a lot of details around the crafting. Um, and the blending, the main thing I wanted to mention here for the crafting, again, is you need the land tokens 
uh, in order to really get the, the good stuff. So if, if you're interested in this game, definitely push for that, that land pack. Definitely push to get, try and get nine of those promos so you can get the two light list to move forward with that. Battles, again, not a ton of detail. Um, I'm, I'm assuming they're gonna have more gameplay here in the near future as far as the description goes. And last but not least is the land possession. Again, really went through this before, so I'm not gonna go into much detail. So let's talk about my thoughts of the game. Um, uh, if you like the Seafarer games, I really haven't seen a, a Seafarer game really succeed on Wax yet. Not saying that this one won't, this just may be the one that really succeeds. Um, if you like that style of game, again, this may be the what you want to play. Um, there's a lot of people that like the, the, the naval and the marine style games. So check this out if that's your case. Me personally, I, I it there isn't enough detail for me to jump in right now. Um, and I, I mentioned that a few times, the white list, or sorry, the white paper is very limited. So yes, there is a, a roadmap, but it really doesn't tell you, t tell you much other than full, full functioning P to E game, cross chain development, and then game updates. I, it's, again, it's early in the development stage, so they don't have a ton of information. I just like it when they have more of a vision Getting to a launch is a big milestone, but just as important is your future vision beyond that launch. And they don't have that here for me to really jump in personally. Uh, again, not financial advice. You can do what you want to do. Uh, the three tokens, the, the base, it, it seems like a very basic game in its current state. Not saying it won't get better than that. Just my personal opinion. Uh, but if you like these kind of games, I, it really seems like a, a, a click to earn type of game. This may be the right one for you. I hope you all enjoy this. Hope you have a fantastic day and I'll talk to you later. Bye.